Hello friends, today I will teach you about the LTE architecture or we can see the, uh, say the long term evolution architecture or the 4G architecture. So in this architecture, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we have our mobile equipment, ME, and when we add on a sim to our mobile equipment it forms a ue that is a user equipment these user equipment serve as a front end in order to start a communication between the arch architecture of the lte so this architecture uh, this ue is is interacted interacting with the eu tran that consists of uh, several e node b that is evolved node b in 3g architectures we have node b's so when uh, some modifications have been done on to node b in order to upgrade it from 3g to 4g hence the name is e node b um, now the interfaces between the communication between the ue user equipment and these um, e utran it is air interface with the help of air interface the communication between the two happens and um, since the e node b's are evolved in the 4g architecture and there is no centralized path in order to receive these e node b's in a one centralized path so e node b's uh, communicate between another e node b using x2 interface now we have for the lte we have um, another box consisting of the control plane and the user plane uh, the upper part is the control plane and the lower part is the user plane so in uh, in control plane we have mme node we have hss node in user plane we have serving gateway node and p gateway node that interacts to the internet okay now now in order to communicate between the e node b to the mme we have an interface s1 mme interface and in order to communicate between the e node b to the serving gateway we have s1 u interface so these this part include s1 interface in order to communicate between e tran to the lte or epc evolved packet core this is evolved packet core architecture so in order to communicate between eu tran to the epc architecture we have s1 interface there are two types of interfaces in s1 s1 mme in order to con uh, connect with the mme and s1 u in order to con connect with the user plane so u is stands for the user plane now mme is the mobility management entity and the hss is the home subscriber system s gateway is connected to p gateway with s5 interface mme to hss with s6a interface mme to s gateway with s11 interface so one hint to remember these interfaces in ld architecture then most of them starts with the s as their initial alphabet so this is how, uh, the lte architecture hope you enjoyed it thanks